Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to Utopia, which is my island. Today, people, we're going to do an island tour of my Animal Crossing island. Yay! Thank you so much for coming back to Akinverse. You can call me Akin. Yeah, let's go straight away. So, everybody, as you can tell, this is my beautiful blue dodo airport which is the one I wanted, thankfully. Let's look at my map. So there you can see I've got Eric, Marshall, Raymond, Hazel, Sasha, Shino, Megan, Dobie, Fauna, and of course Molly, because Molly is my absolute favourite best duck. She is the literal best character in Animal Crossing, don't at me. Anyway, you can see my island. It's not too terraformed. I kind of tried to make it look like an ancient island um, that used to have, like, a civilization that somehow got ruined and over time it fell apart and then we found the island and it was, you know, just completely bare except for ruins and you'll see those later. That's my map. And as we enter this way, I kind of blocked it off so you have to go through here. So you can't go anywhere else. I don't think you can make a jump here. If you had a ladder, like if you were coming through from the airport, not from a dream. If you had a ladder, obviously you'd be able to climb up and over. But it's just to try to guide you straight through to like a cross section, I guess. So here we have a, a little bit of a mountain with some pretty flowers. Nice stone pathing. Ooh, what's this? There's a criminal. I hope he doesn't show up. Now down here is my little beach near the airport. Let's get some palm trees, there's a fish, a big beetle, some more flowers. I don't remember what this is called, but I think it looks pretty cute there. And there's some more flowers and stuff up there. Now as we enter into the square, this is where you can choose where you want to go. Ding ding! Okay, so I made this little square with some rainbow flowers, so it goes from black to red to orange to yellow. There's only one green flower in the game, which is right there. Then blue, purple, pink, white, which I thought was kind of cute. Even though technically the black flowers should be on this side and the white flowers and pink flowers should be on this side, but shh, don't tell anybody. And then I've got one of each kind of fruit tree here, as well as just some nice... What are these trees called? I forget what these trees are called. Oh well. So, from here, if we go left, is the village. If we go right, it's the kind of outskirts and private villa of somebody. And if we go north, this is the plaza. And here we've got Megan and Dobie just chilling out. Ooh, are they on a date? I wonder. And there's my beautiful utopian flag. Okay, so um, let's go to the village first. So this is just a nice little sitting area where you can have some boba and beautiful uh, blossom lantern. <gasps> Raymond, you came to visit? Hi Raymond! Ah, then you've got this hill with some nice vines growing up the side, a little pond, and if you go up here, this is Marshall's house, and this is just like a nice little hill with some 
cliff, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Like, I would call that... I don't even know what I'd call that. Because, like, I, I guess it's supposed to be, like... It can't all be a cliff. It doesn't make sense. But obviously that's what it's called in the game. Anyway, that's off topic. Then over here you can see some of my Lily of the Valley. This is Hazel's house. So my two little squirrels live here. Then back down here to the little ramp. Then come to the beach front. And this is Sasha's house. And his home. That's surprising. Usually when I want to find Sasha, I can't find him anyway. Um, this is um, just like nice beach. I'm very bad at decorating beaches. So I've just kind of got like you know, sitting areas, a volleyball thing, and they're using a watermelon volleyball. Um, then I've got some, like, shell furniture. And that goes to the other side of my beach. Then this is Shino's house. I can never find Shino. But luckily I've already got her photos, so I don't need to worry about finding her half the time. Only if I need her for something. Um, this is my little outcropping on the side of the thing. It's even got a little rock pool. Just I, I, I've left the beach as kind of plain, deliberately. I don't know. I, I've seen some people's beaches where they're just overdone and you're just like, well, I can't move. What's the point? But, yeah. I, I also am not good at decorating beaches, so I shouldn't really knock other people's now this is Fauna's house. She's got a nice little barbecue out the back and a little flamingo at her front door. Um, eventually these three will be moving. I just want to collect their photos before I get somebody else. Um, I don't actually know who I want to keep on my island. If you go up here, this is my farm. So I've got tomatoes, I've got pumpkins, carrots, Sugar cane, is that what that's called? I can't remember. Uh, wheat and potatoes. I've got my little bee statue here. Because originally this is where I had my like beekeeping area. So it was flowers and beehives and stuff. But then they decided to release 2.0 and everyone went nuts. And I was like, well, now I've got to have a farm. Anyway, and then I've got a, um ABD machine because I didn't want to have to go all the way over to the plaza to have to get money. Bell, bells, bells. And this is my house. Yes, yeah, so I've got some stunted trees. There's my little dog. He's a little beagle. And this is like a little sitting area with a book. And there's a little frog on a lily pad. Yes, I know it's a croaky strat snack. I just like it as a frog. This is like a stargazing area. Now, I'm not trying to flex with all my lilies of the valley here. They just kind of happened to grow there because it was the only place to grow. Um, so, I'm not flexing. They just happened to grow there. A couple of them I did put there, but most of them have just grown there by themselves. Then up here is my crafting station. So, I tried to make it look like, you know, there's a shelf of stuff behind there. And there's a bin for stuff or trash can for those of you in America. Um, and yeah, that's my crafting station. This is my house. Oh, we may as well just do it now while I'm here. Now, I haven't finished 100% decorating my house because I don't know how I want my house. The living area, kitchen, and bedroom are probably set. So this is my living room. Uh, let's just go into build mode so I can show it off without me being in the way. So as you can see, I've got photos on the wall of some NPCs. So I've got... Rover and Raymond and Miko and is that his name? I forgot if that's his name. Um, I would have Wardell, but I don't have his amiibo card, so I couldn't get it. Um, then I've got Isabel and Digby. I 100%. I'm so upset that they didn't actually bring Digby into the game, other than having his amiibo card, because Digby is one of my absolute favourite NPCs. He's so cute. Um, Timmy and Tommy are there, and then you've got Flick and CJ and Brewster. And of course, over here, we have my number one girl, Molly. Um, 
so yeah, I've just tried to make it look like a cozy little, and obviously there's a unicorn there because unicorns, obviously. Um, and I love the cherry blossom season. I don't think that we have cherry blossoms in Australia, but I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, so I love the cherry blossom stuff. So I've got my cherry blossom bonsai. I've got the cherry blossom. I can't remember what that item's called. The sticks, this one. I don't remember what it's called. And then I've got one of my favorite paintings up, uh, both of my favorite paintings up on the wall there, um, around the poster. Uh, I've got the cherry blossom clock. Oh, over here, I've got the paradise, happy home paradise photo next to my inside crafting station, which I don't use anymore because I've got the outside one and I don't need to come inside to get stuff anymore because I've got a, um, what's it called? One of the inventory locker things in the, in my pockets at all times. Then I've got the plaques from the museum day, museum week event, and then the TV on the wall, a little teddy bear, because I love teddy bears, uh, an electric guitar, because I love the electric guitar, I love guitar, but I can't play. So yeah, that's the main room. Oh, and then I've got the happy home designer plaque up on the wall. No, Shino, I'm filming! Okay, sorry about that, folks. She no left. Um, okay, so let's go this room first. So this room is one of the rooms I'm not really sure what to do in there. I've got the black rattan furniture because I it I like it. I like the colour of it, I like the way it looks. In real life I would hate this because I'm pretty sure that this is like wicker furniture. I don't know if that's what you call it in other countries, but in Australia we call it like wicker furniture and it's like a really gross wood and it smells and it attracts cockroaches. It's really, I don't like it, but in the game it looks cool. So yeah, as you can see, I've got my vacuum in the corner. I've got some of the, the space, what is this called? Astrology DIYs or the star sign DIYs. I've got a tissue box from mum. Yeah, I just tried to make it look like it could be used as like a little apartment without a kitchen because it's got like a sitting area, it's got a table with a lamp, it's got cupboards and stuff. could be like a studio apartment, I just don't have a TV in there. But this is where I come to change clothes because you get the Nook Miles points from changing in a closet, so I come in here to change my clothes. Anyway, don't at me about that love heart clock because I don't know why it's there but I put it there. Then if we go to the back, this is the kitchen. Now this is my absolute, one of my absolute favorite wallpapers. I absolutely love it. As you can see I absolutely love the food cooking aspect of it for them as decorations, not as eating, because I don't use them for anything as eating. I've put some of the effects on from when you clean the stuff, so the stove is hot and the fridge is cold. So yeah, I've got some soup and cookies and bread and other stuff set there, and then I've just kind of, and this is my fa one of my favourite furniture sets, is this iron kitchen, is that what it's called, iron wood kitchen? And then up on the wall, I forgot that Digby poster was up there. But yeah, here's one of my mains. My mains. And then I've got like the ironwood clock as well up there. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I like it open, so I don't like having, like I know that they added where you can like slip between the stuff now for the, with the 2.0, but I don't like that. I like it being open. So I've tried to leave it open. So yeah, anyway, that's the kitchen. And then if we go into this room, this is the bathroom. So this one, I've got all the mermaid furniture. I don't know why, because I'm not really that into mermaids. I do like the movie The Little Mermaid. But I've just tried to... I think it's more the fact that I tried to make the room have all of the furniture items of one set in there, as well as some random other stuff. So, I don't know. I don't really like it all that much. 
it looks very cluttered and I don't like the clutter. But yeah. So that's the bathroom. Then if we go downstairs, this is the basement, obviously. But it's not really designed as anything other than... Oh no. What are these strange creatures? Why have they... My my basement, it's empty. You, you put a jukebox and you're just standing here singing? What are you? Why have you taken over my basement? This must be the island spirits. Wow. Okay, so... This is the... All of my collection of gyroids. I think I'm missing two. And I can't remember what two they are. So yeah, without me in the way, there's a disco ball on ceiling, ceiling because obviously... I really like that wallpaper. I think it looks good for a basement wall. I also like the ground, which I don't think they would have in basements. I don't know if houses in Australia have basements. I've never seen a house in Australia that has a basement or an attic, actually. So I've got two of the little pig guy because he's one of my favorites. And I wanted the pink one as well as the black one because it's my two favorite colorways of those. And then I haven't put them in any kind of order. I just put them up as I put them up. So my actual favorite one is this fella here. This one here. So he looks like a little chipmunk to me. So he's my absolute favorite. Followed by this one here because it's just obscurely weird. And then the piggy. The piggy is one of my favorites. Oh, and this one because it reminds me of something from The Legend of Zelda. And I just don't know what. So that's my basement. And then we go upstairs. This is the bedroom. So, I love this flooring. I love this wallpaper. And as you can tell, I've had a lot of villages on my island. And that's not even all the villages I've had on my island. So, Jingle, obviously, is one of the ones I don't care about. But I've had Kid, Dobie, Drake, Shino. Oh, I can't remember his name. We've had him anyway. Kabuki. Silvana. Dottie. Mitzi. Lily. Teddy. He's one of my favourite bears. He's so cute. Shep. Shep. Ketchup. Then I've got Blair. And then I've got my faves. So I've got Molly and Weber, my two favourite duckies. Then I've got Raymond and Marina. Marina's not really a fave. She's just one of those ones that happen to get here. Bill. And then Static, which is one of my favourite squirrels, which would probably be one of the characters I bring back for those three houses that I move. Uh, three villages that I move out. It'll probably be Static that I bring back, one of them. And then I've got Marshall and Cole. Cole is probably my favourite bunny. I think he's just really cute. And then I've got Derwin that you can't really see because of the lighting. Just because of where he sits in the room. You can't really see him. But Derwin is one of my favourite ducks just because he looks like Chucky from Rugrats. Then you've got Julia, I believe was her name. And Pate or Pate. Megan. Rudy is one of my favourite cats. Lolly, obviously, because Lolly, one of my favourite cats. Hazel, one of my favourite squirrels. Don't you dare at me about Hazel. Hazel is one of the cutest squirrels. I don't care what you say. Her giant eyebrow is adorable and she deserves love just like anybody else. Then we've got Eric and Bo. Sherb, Ione. Ione? I don't know how people are saying it. Julian, obviously, because Unicorn Boy. And then we've got Pecan. Deirdre, who I thought I liked, and then I had her in my village, and I was like, you have some weird facial patterns, Deirdre. So we got rid of her. June. Henry, one of my favorite frogs. Phoebe, the phoenix. Bon Bon, I believe that is. And then Cheddar, Curlos, which both of them I don't really like. I just happen to have them on my island. Apple, Lucky, Poppy. 
and Walt the Kangaroo. I actually like him. He's my the only kangaroo that I like. And I had him on my island by accident. I don't remember how I got him on my island. It was way early. But yeah, eventually this whole room will have photos in it because I have a lot of amiibo cards and those three villagers I keep swapping out when I um have got their photos. So Shino will be gone soon for somebody else. And then, yeah. Anyway, let's go back to the island. So yeah, that's my house area. Um, that's Eric's house here. So Eric's house I gave like this flag. I'm pretty sure that's the kids day flag. I might be wrong. Is that what it's called? A flag? I don't even remember what it's called. They look like wind socks. Anyway, that's where Eric lives. I absolutely love the exterior of his house, but his is the only house I've done the interior. I'm thinking that my Animal Crossing videos for a while will be me doing the interiors of some of the other villagers' houses. This side I didn't really know what to do, so I just put a hell of a lot of flowers. I actually only put a couple of flowers and then they started growing, so I think it was just this row of six flowers here and then they just grew out. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then I've got a jellyfish there because it's one of my favourite sea life creatures. I The mums are my least favourite flower. That's not to say I don't like them. It's just they're my least favourite flower. I like all of the other flowers better. Even roses, which are my second least favourite flower in the game. This is Raymond's house. I was trying to make him like the investigator of the island. So he's got like the wanted posters and a pile of posters that he's handing out to people and some on the ground. There's a magazine that's got the wanted poster inside it. And then this is his notes over here. And this is his, like, the notes that he's actually making. So this is what he's reading up on. And that's what he's making. And then he's got the cherry blossom stuff as well. Uh, we'll go this way. So up here is the shop. So they're open. And I've got these little balloons from the app to like, I don't know, I just thought it looked cute. And there's a pile of magazines, a stunted tree and a path. Now that's where my warp pipe is, but it doesn't go anywhere anymore because I got rid of the one that was in my house. So it was, so I could go into my house and come to the shop really quickly to sell stuff or buy stuff and put it away. But now that you can carry your inventory around with you, I don't need that anymore. So I got rid of it. And then there's like a little pond with a waterfall. I don't know why he jumps sideways. Hi, Sahara. And then I've just kind of made this like a nice little space here. What was that? Something just popped into existence over there. This is one of my favorite random items in the game. So I took it to Harv's Island to get customized because I had a different picture. I did like the picture that was on it more, but I do like this one a lot. So yeah, that's the Able Sisters. By Sahara. So behind here I've just got kind of like all this is supposed to be ruins. So you'll see why soon. But yeah, so behind here you've just got flowers and trees because it's supposed to be like they've just built on the edge of like the nature part. And the they look like daisies to me. So that's what I've tried to make them look like. These little yellow daisies. So we'll go down here. And around. Okay, so this is the side of my house. There's all vines growing up the side. A bridge. And then if you come this way, it's just like a little forest. And then when you make it to the middle of the forest. Who's that? Winnie the Pooh, what are you doing here with Tigger and Rabbit and Piglet? Oh, they're having a little party. Yeah, that's, that, I thought it was cute. This is probably one area that I will change in the, in the future. I don't really know. I kind of wanted to do like a little forest with like a, a little pond in the middle, like a little fairy garden and have, you know, just, it'd be cute. And this is like kind of just like a little holiday area for the villagers. Okay, so let's go back this way. This is the only part of my island that's hard to get through. And then if we go back this way, so through here is the other forest, but this goes to the village elder's house. So up there is just like a 
some trees and waterfall. If you come this way, to the village elder's house, Dobie's house. So I pretend that he's like the one that has been here the longest and he, which he hasn't because obviously I've been here the longest, but he has the story of the island. He has been here the longest and he, we go to him for advice and he's the one that said it was okay to build down there, but not up here and all that sort of stuff. And then behind his house is the orchard. So you've got apple trees, pear trees, orange trees, peach trees, and cherry trees, bamboo tree, bamboo sprout. Bam is it called a tree? I don't know what that's called. Anyway, then if we come down here, there's a, this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite items in the game. I can't even remember what it's called. Is it called an outdoor bath? I don't remember, but it's just, I just, I don't know. I've always been obsessed with water features and I just think it's really cute. Anyway, um, so this way just leads to the cliff where Abel Sisters is. And there's no way through to where we're about to go other than through here. So the imagery of this is that it's a like a tunneled archway system to get into a temple area and this would have been like a temple garden and this is the temple that is like in ruin that we've repurposed as the museum so it used to be a temple and it was all ruined and we just fixed it up as the museum and if we go this way you can see that this is where most of the ruin is so up here we've got all the ruined bits we've got my rock garden which isn't really a garden but this is the altar to like the the nature god so this is like just the you know the where we give thanks to them for letting us use the island and all that sort of stuff i thought it was cute you don't have to but yeah this is just i just thought it was cute it's like a little outcropping of rocks that like, I guess, ancient druids would have built around this statue that they also built of the nature god. And this, like, used to be a building. And you can see, like, the castle turret thing that's the ruined one. So my idea was that that used to be, like, the edge of the castle here and here and down here before it started going to ruin with whatever event caused the disaster on this island. Okay, so this is the other side of the plaza. I've made a little garden shop for Leaf. This was just before Harv's Island. I literally did this just before they announced Harv's Island update. So this area will probably be changed. I actually like it. And I was going to put like, you know, how you can get the shop wall things that you can get now. I was going to put them on the sides instead of these ones, but still have the boards at the back. Oh, I'm, my brain's just not working for any item names today. So we'll go this way first. And this is just like a little picnic area with the cherry. Is that the cherry blossom picnic? I can't remember. There's a fountain. This was just put here for me to do stuff. Eventually it will be moved. I just couldn't be bothered yet. Now this way... Oh, there's another wanted sign. This way is like... So over the, the time, this is eroded away to make like a little pathway because it goes out to the secret beach. And I haven't really done anything with the secret beach because I wanted it to be kind of bare like no one knew it was there. Which is why it's a secret. And if we go back this way and up here, this is my flower garden. So my botanical garden that has every single flower. And there's two of every colour I believe. So you've got my two favourite flowers here. And then this one and this one which are like my middle favourites and then these two are my other two favourites and then my two least favourites 
over here. And then we've got another ruined castle tower. And down here, you've got, I have a music player on either side that's playing the, like the classical music. Because I thought that that's what in a botanical garden would probably be playing if they played music. And then I've just put like this little flower pattern on the ground where it's just kind of a flower pattern and then it's stuff has grown there. And then I've got the moss pond, is that what that's called? The glowing moss pond? Um, oh, I didn't know it did that. And so yeah, that actually I want to put down where the Winnie the Pooh stuff is. But yeah, this just goes through to a wind farm, which you'll see from a better angle later. And then up here is like what I imagine where the castle used to be, like the edge of the castle was here. So the castle would have gone across that gap to the other side where we were just before with the rock garden. And then this would have been like behind the castle, this bit up here. And this bit would have been like the castle garden inside with the waterfall. And then this over here, ah, oh, someone died. So this I imagine was like the ancient, the people that lived here, the last person that lived here before Dobie came. And then that's another edge of the castle. So I imagine that this bit was behind the castle here. And then that's like the edge of the castle going diagonally down to the other side there. Okay, go back this way. Okay, so we're going south from the garden shop. So this is Megan's house. She's got one of my favorite flower items and a whole bunch of these. So these were originally because the person that lived here was Pate or Pate, whatever her name is. And I had like a music because she wanted to be a pop star. So I had like a music thing here instead of this little um, what is this called again? Oh, my brain's just not working today. Anyway, so yeah, so, and then I had some pink and uh, purple and blue flowers, sorry. Because she's purple and I love her. Anyway, but she's not here anymore. And then, over here, over this beautiful bridge on this private island, lives my favourite villager of all. And she's not home. Molly. So she's got a little sitting area where she can read and drink boba with somebody. And there's candles to make it smell good. She's got her laundry line. She's got the most detail, obviously, because she's my favourite. But yeah, I love her house. I haven't touched the inside or the outside. I don't know if her house will be one of the ones I do, because I actually do like the inside of it. And then when we go back this way, and go south from here... Or south. Oh, there she is. Don't you dare. No, you're not. How dare you? I've done nothing but look after you. <laughs> I pressed dance instead of wave by accident. Oh, well. And then, yeah, so this is like a little forest. We'll go this way first because then we'll go back down. Now, I'm not going to take credit for this because I'm not the person who came up with this. I can't remember the person that did. But I saw Chase Crossing visit their island, and I just thought it was really pretty. Having, But they had all white hyacinths. I've got every colour, because hyacinths is one of my favourite flowers. And I just think it looks really pretty. And again, I'm not flexing with all of the lilies of the valley there. There's very little space for lilies of the valley to grow on my island. I did put some down here, though. Anyway. So yeah, that's my like hyacinth field with pretty view up there. I think it looks really pretty. And then we'll get back down here. So this is the campsite, as you can tell. So there's a cooking area. There's a little uh, pond stone because I think they're cute. Another of my favorite items. There's a crafting area in case someone wants to build anything. There's stumps in case someone wants to sit down and talk. And then there's the actual wood stools around a campfire. My drinking fountain. Yeah, 
And then this is just a sign saying that there's boat tours that way from Capen. It took me so long to get a surfboard in this game because in Australia they weren't out until December of the first year. And then when they came out in Australia, I got the crappy white one. So I was very disappointed. But when Harv's Island got the update and you can visit the little alpaca people, I took I bought more and took them over there so I could get the three cut well the two colours that I like and just one random. Actually I think that's the colourway that I had, that blue striped one. Anyway, let's go this way. So over here is the well the dock with Cap'n and Cap'n Tours. And then we go north from there, ignoring all of the shells on the ground. There's a pirate rock. So I've got the pirate items. I just thought they were pretty cool. So I've put them up on here by themselves to make it look like there's pirates. And I've got a music player, the skull in the background with the pirate, with music that sounds like pirate music or pirate movie music. I just thought it was cool. Anyway, I really love Animal Crossing a lot and it brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. So hopefully it can continue to do that as it goes along. Hopefully they'll either up make an update that they're saying they're not going to do or a new one will come out very soon so a lot more people can enjoy it. If you would like me to do a tour of your island via Dream Address on YouTube, hit me up on Twitter be absolutely amazing. I just, yeah, I really love seeing what other people have done in Animal Crossing. It really, I don't know, makes me smile. Makes me go, geez, I wish I was that creative because I'm not very creative. So yeah, thanks so much for coming to visit Utopia today with me, Akin from Akinverse. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know your ideas for spaces on the island and if you would like to have me visit your island via dream address and tour it on YouTube please hit me up on Twitter my Twitter is in the description down below and I hope you all have a great day bye